everyone, welcome back to another video. And this week we will be attempting to encapsulate some super sparkly dragonflies. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going in first of all with a layer of this color. This is Bling Lines Elin, and it is the most beautiful, bright, summery pink, and it has a very slight sparkle through it. So I'm gonna be putting my first layer down curing in the lamp and then get in with a second layer. Okay, so now that we're out of the lamp, I'm just going in now with a layer of the matte finish top coat. This is to help me whenever it comes to actually um, painting all my design. So I'm just putting a thin layer of it down and then we'll go in for another cure. Okay, so although that's a matte top coat, because it is a hard gel, it does come out with the inhibition layer. So you have to clean that off with gel cleanser um, to make it nice and matte. And this is my Nat Mug Detail Brush. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, start painting on the wings of the little dragonflies. I've got some white gel polish on my palette there that you can just sort of see at the top screen. So I keep that beside me and just kind of keep dipping my brush into the white gel paint. Um, this is just to sort of give me a guidance as to where I want my glitter to go um, whenever it comes to that part. So because I'll be using a silver hollow, um, I thought that white would be a good base to put down. So when I'm doing these little wings, I am kind of aiming for almost like a, a very stretched teardrop, uh, sort of teardrop shape. And um, I'll be doubling that up because obviously dragonflies have the, the sort of the two lots of wings, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna be putting two dragonflies on this nail. So um, this is the first one up near what would be the cuticle area and then the second one, you shall see where I'll put it, which is down um, more towards the tip. Okay, so now that our white is all cured, I have a little blob of tack free gel polish, just a top coat. And I am literally just going over the whites of the wings. Now, although this here will be encapsulated, the, the actual glitter um, that will be cured onto the, the wings, um, the reason why I like to use a tack free is that whenever it comes out of the lamp I can dust off all that sort of excess glitter and um, I just kind of find then that you know everything sort of just it's much much easier whenever you're, sort of, you're dusting everything off so that's me going in with stardust and I'm just sprinkling that over the uncured um, tack free which is on top of the white and then I just go in for a double cure Okay, so now we're giving it a good dust off and this is exactly why I use the tack free, like I said, it's because I like to get in there with a scrubber brush. So um, this is a cool one step gel as well as this is my little pot that I keep um, for going over glitter because you know what it's like whenever you're applying anything and glitter's involved, it always gets into either gel polish or 
um, or hard gels, whatever. So this is a little pot of that that I keep specifically just for going over anything sparkly. So um, this is where I'm gonna start building up my layers. But with this layer here, I'm really just sort of making sure that the wings and all the rest of the nail is covered. So this is actually quite a thin layer. And then I'm going to be using the Girls Night Out uh, dots, which is also available from Nail Sugar. And um, I'm just going in with those. They're beautiful, like little holographic mix of dots. And this is where I'm just kind of placing those wee dots to make the body of our dragonflies. Okay, and lastly then, it is time to encapsulate everything. And again, I'm just using my cool One Step Gel. I love this gel. And um, it's just so easy to work with. And you know what I really, really love about gel is that the clarity is just super clear every time. It's ready to go. You lift your bead and you just kind of let it do its thing and just gently guide it. It is, I just, I love, love, love the hard gel system. Um, I adore it, I absolutely adore it. So that's me just putting on our encapsulation layer and then we shall go in for a cure. Okay, so at this point I've actually filed and buffed and uh, that was me there just giving everything a really good clean to make sure all the dust was off. So using that little um, blob of white gel polish that I have left over, I'm just now going around the glittery sort of wing area and just kind of like highlighting and defining those with the white gel polish. What I will say is it doesn't have to be perfect and in fact, what I kind of find with this design is that even if you kind of like overlap messy edges, there is something really cute and quirky about kind of like offset lines with this. So um, this is a great one just for, you know, just sort of for beginners fun and practice. So once we have that done, then we go in for a cure. Okay, so get ready for some gorgeous wet finish look top coat glitter cam. Oh, how awesome was that? I just love that. I love seeing the sparkle come to life. So this is the first coat and then we go in for a cure and then I'll do a second coat. Ta-da, that's our finished look. This is our little dragonflies. How cute are they? Um, they're super sparkly. I love them. I adore them. I just think they are so much fun. So I really enjoyed doing this design. It's a great one for beginners. So um, any of you out there who are just starting off with some nail art, this here could be a really good one to try out. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I hope you have a fab week ahead. Don't forget to leave me a like a comment, give a little thumbs up too, and I will see you all again next time. Bye!